Hello and welcome. My name is James, but you can just call me the Eternal Guitar Novice. Now today I am going to be reviewing this guitar. That's right, I got my hands on one of the brand new Firefly guitars that just hit recently. Uh, this particular one is the GA01E. It is the acoustic electric guitar from Firefly. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to, of course, show you how it looks up close, let you know how things were when I first took it out of the box. Uh, I get to tell you about some real world uh, playing that I did. I uh, managed to be able to take it to one of my jam sessions that I do. And then, of course... We're going to take a listen to it. I'm going to have you hear it through my MXL 3000 condenser mic so you can hear it unplugged. But then, of course, it's an acoustic electric. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my Behringer UMC 22 interface going into my Mac running GarageBand so you can hear how it sounds plugged in. So I'm going to take you over to my couch where I have it set up ready to play. And we're going to take a listen and take a look at the Firefly GA01. E. So here guys, this is it. This is the GA01E from Firefly. Uh, go over a couple different features of this. So as you can see right on the top, this is actually a solid spruce top. Now normally in this price point you would see a uh, laminate uh, spruce top. This one's going to be fully solid. So a couple different benefits with that. It's going to make this guitar a lot lighter uh, than you'd be running into with the laminate because of all the extra glue uh, that's used to kind of keep all the pieces uh, put together. Uh, the other thing too is you're going to get some nice, uh, more robust tone out of it. It's going to be uh, a louder tone. Um, you're going to get a lot more resonance out of it. Uh, now it's also got a mahogany back with uh, mahogany sides and then I'll try to get you a good picture of it here right here so that is the uh, EQ that's on it this is the uh, Fishman Presys 2 uh, it has your standard bass and treble has a built-in tuner here so so as you can see pretty nice tuner built in pretty easy to look through um, and then of course you've got your standard volume. The other thing I like on this though is that it also has a phase button. Now um, with the phases, you know, if you're going to be playing this thing live um, at home, you don't really need to worry too much about it. But if you're playing live uh, through an amplifier or even if you're just on stage uh, with, you know, loud um, speakers coming through, this phase switch is going to allow you to help um, take care of the kind of feedback that you get uh, when you're getting the sound coming back into the guitar. So if you're having that issue, it's great because, you know, a lot of times what people do is, you know, they'll get the sound hole cover to help with that. You don't need to worry about that as much with this one because it's got that phase switch. So that's a nice little feature that it has here. And then, you know, underneath you've got the uh, battery with the input jack on it. Uh, standard, you know, quarter inch input jack. Uh, and then this also, uh, another great thing in this price point, which you don't really see a lot, this has a bone nut. So, you know, a lot more stability on that. Um, but I will go over it a little bit more. Um, when I was playing it live, I did notice that this guitar did uh, go out of tune about halfway through. Uh, so definitely something to consider is when I take these strings off, I'm probably going to end up having to lubricate this nut. And uh, little trick you know, that I just do, uh, because I'm cheap, <laughs> mostly, uh, is I just grab just, you know, a standard uh, lead pencil, and I just kind of go into the grooves, and there's your lubrication for your graphite right there. Uh, another thing uh, to consider, this has a rosewood fretboard, as well as a rosewood bridge. So, I'm going to lower the microphone here, and I'm going to play for a little bit. Uh, we're going to give you some more uh, close-up shots uh, I'll give you while I'm playing through the interface, uh, just so that we could kind of see this thing up close and personal. You can see, uh, you know, the headstock, which I really like the headstock on it. Uh, they also used uh, abalone for the headstock. And then this abalone binding, which is great. Oh, and another feature that I didn't mention, uh, and I'll see if I can get a good glimpse here. So as you can see on the side, it's got a nice little armrest uh, cut out right there, which is a nice little feature, especially, again, on a guitar this price. So I'm going to lower the microphone here, and we're going to take a little listen of the guitar unplugged going into that MXL 3000.
So, that right there was a little bit of uh, strumming here uh, and a little bit of finger picking coming from your eternal guitar novice. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in here in a minute, but I'm just going to put it here to the side because uh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys. Let me go ahead and raise the mic here. Okay, so you'll see I have the box that it came in here, okay? And I wanted to show this uh, for, for a really important reason. So one thing to consider when you're ordering this guitar, and as a disclaimer, they are already aware of this uh, over at Firefly, so uh, I've already been actually told that this is something that they've already learned from, and going forward, hopefully this is not going to happen again. But when we open up the box, I mind you, all I did was take out the guitar and the, uh, the uh, Allen wrench that came with it. So we'll move this aside. This is what was inside the guitar. Just this. So this only came uh, just in, you know, the typical foam bag. Um, you know, you've got to cover the strings. You had your little bit of wax paper. But other than that, I mean, there was no other padding. Uh, you know, it kind of sat here, uh, you know, in order to help give it a little bit of cushioning, but I mean, that's just some corrugated cardboard. Uh, you know, no other padding was in this box. Now, like I said, as a disclaimer, uh, Firefly has already reached out and I've already told them uh, about the issue because one thing that came up, and I'll show you uh, the picture while I'm playing the uh, through the interface, is that uh, I did end up on this guitar, as beautiful as it is, uh, does have a minor crack, minor crack, very minor crack, in the, uh, by the uh, bone nut there. There's a very minor crack. It's uh, only through the clear coat, so uh, no wood damage, um, but I have seen some of these guitars have not been coming in in too good of a shape. So that's just a little disclaimer right now. You know, if you're gonna order this guitar, um, definitely keep uh, an eye on when it first arrives, giving it a good once over, um, just to make sure that everything is still, you know, good to go on it. Uh, now, the other thing that I want to say too, though, is Firefly, their uh, customer service is really good. Now, sometimes they take a little bit to get back to you, especially if you're, um, you know, speaking during the day, uh, because, you know, their customer service is typically based out of China. Uh, so, you know, flip the time zones and, uh, you know, you're emailing them during the day, they're actually receiving it at night. So you're not going to see a response maybe that day or even a day after. Sometimes it takes them a minute to get back to you. But once they do get back to you, they're really good about working with you. So if you do somehow get a damaged guitar from Firefly, this acoustic gets damaged, they're going to make it right with you. And like I said, going forward, they have learned from this mistake and they are working to remedy it. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But enough talk. Let me go ahead and plug this guy into that interface and we'll see how it sounds plugged in and you'll get some close-up images that I'm gonna go ahead and take for you while I'm playing. So how did this guitar hold up in a real world setting? Well, I was fortunate enough for this guitar to arrive uh, before a jam session that I do with my friends every once in a while, and after about two to three hours of playing, I have to say, the guitar held up pretty well. Now, one thing to say about uh, guitars in this price point 
is, you know, usually the tuners that are on them, they're not necessarily the worst, but they're also not necessarily the greatest. So about halfway through the session, I did have to retune the guitar slightly, um, but this was after some really heavy playing that I was doing, so that definitely could be a factor. Um, I might just need to take a screwdriver to those tuners and tighten them up a little bit, so I might not need to upgrade them, but something to consider is that you might want to take a look at those tuners and consider possibly upgrading them or at least doing a little bit of work to the tuners that are already on it well there you have it folks that was the firefly ga01e acoustic electric guitar now final thoughts coming from this eternal guitar novice i mean right out of the box this guitar is gorgeous in every way it looks gorgeous it feels great and it plays and sounds absolutely gorgeous as well and this is going to sound like a cliche but honestly with firefly this is the norm. This guitar, out of the box, in terms of quality and playability, can compare to at least double what you paid for it. Now, I've had other Fireflies in the past. They're electric guitars, and I love them all. But I got to say that these acoustic guitars coming from Firefly have brought Firefly to a brand new level. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you don't know about Firefly is if you go to their website, that's guitarsgarden.com, and you go to buy a guitar, if you see one that you like, make sure to buy it as soon as you can because these guitars tend to sell out pretty quick. At the time of this recording, that GA01E is no longer on the website. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're completely out of stock, though. What they'll do sometimes is if they've sold a certain amount of a, a particular guitar, They'll take it off of the website, I'm guessing maybe to take a look at stock, make sure everything's accurate, and if they do still have additional stock available, they'll throw it back up. So maybe if you check the next day, it might be on there. Now, even if it's not, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to get an acoustic. They have several different acoustic models that you can take a look at, all within pretty comparable prices. And uh, they have right now the GA01, which is the standard acoustic version of the GA01E. Or if you still want an acoustic electric, you can get the DA01E, which is like their Dreadnought model. And another one to take a look at, they have the Firefly RE01, which is a resonator guitar. So that was kind of a cool little uh, twist that they threw in uh, on there. Now, me personally, I don't play resonator guitars, but... From what I've been seeing on the Firefly uh, Guitars Fans Facebook group, I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It plays phenomenal. It sounds absolutely beautiful. So take a look at that as well if you're even just interested in seeing if you like resonator guitars. I mean, it's, it's an absolute great guitar to purchase for under 200 bucks. Now, did you guys agree or disagree with this review? Make sure to let me know down in the comments what you guys thought. And if you guys have gotten your hands on one of these guitars and you've managed to do a review, make sure to throw up a link down in the comments as well because I want to see what you folks are doing with the guitar, how it sounds in your hands, and what you guys think. Now, my name is James again. I am the eternal guitar novice. I want to thank you so much for watching and make sure to keep on playing.